Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well today. As you can tell, by today's attire. Right, stop, honestly, stop, God, stop, stop, stop. I I never wore my kit bag like this. You just you just like walk on poolside like this at half four in the morning. It's not half four, that's the only thing that is different about today's video. I'm training like my younger self. So if you didn't know, if you're new to the channel, hi, welcome, subscribe, cool. I used to swim for GB. I swam internationally all my life. For 10 years, I was a full-time competitive swimmer. Hence why I'm this shape also. I'm literally an upside down triangle, which you'll probably see when I'm actually in my costume. Wearing all my old stuff, using all my old kit. I used to get up at half four in the morning. I train nine times a week in the pool. Land work, conditioning, cardio, strength work, the works. And that's what we're gonna be doing today. It's not half four, because the pool wasn't open in until nine o'clock. So we're gonna get there bang on nine o'clock-ish, not half four in the morning. But I used to train before college, after college, the whole shebang. But I'm gonna take you through what I used to do personally. So the land work, the cart, I'll explain about the cardio as well, because you're probably thinking, nine sessions a week in the pool, why are they doing cardio? It's basically our coach didn't want us all to be fat. I'll tell you about that when I'm doing cardio. But yeah, I thought it'd be really exciting to take you through. So me and Cal are filming in the pool, but you just, you just have to be. <laughs> a little bit careful with filming around other people. So we'll get as much footage as we can in the pool as humanly possible. Hey, I've got a little GoPro that I'm gonna swim with and we'll do our best. So we'll see you at the gym slash pool. pool. We are going to the pool. Different, I used to drive 40 minutes to the pool when I lived at home with my parents and I had to drive 40 minutes to get to the pool. So bear in mind, if we did a session, I had to be there at 20 past four. I had to leave at half past three-ish to get there. So insane. so insane, half past three is the middle of the night. That is categorically, and do you know what's always crazy? Like now, nah, very educated on sleep. If I had probably had more sleep, I would have categorically performed better yeah. as, a, as an athlete. So when I was doing my A-levels, I'd be revising constantly in the car. And I remember getting back from my sessions at about 8 p.m. And I'd have my dinner whilst revising till 9 and then get ready for bed. It was just an awful, That's yeah, really unsustainable. But I think that is the thing. If you are a full-time athlete, that's just something that it might have changed a little bit in the six years since I was a swimmer. Did you have any days off? Sunday, the yeah. How did you fit nine sessions into six days? So it was double Monday double Tuesday, Wednesday night, double Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And so double Monday would consist of what? Waking up at half three, drive to the pool at Manchester Aquatics, do 20 minutes cardio, then go down, do land work, two hour training session. Sometimes it was two and a half and you'd have like post land stuff, but I had to go to college, drive 40 minutes to college, full day at college. I'd have to leave last period early to get back to Manchester. Two hours in the pool-ish, sometimes two and a half, and then strength and conditioning. Always varied, it was either like strength and conditioning, gym session, 200 burpees, 200 abs. I mean, get home, 8 p.m., revise, have my dinner, do it all again. That was fun. Really difficult to film. I apologize for that. It was super difficult. And I was booked in for a 45 minute session and I just kept swimming and swimming for an hour and 20. And it got to like an hour 15 and they started taking the lanes out. And they were like, you're gonna have to get out. I don't think I think I don't think they minded me being in there that long, to be fair. This is something I don't miss, but it always dies down after about five minutes. I've literally just got out of the pool, so hopefully by the time I get to the gym, it'll be okay. Yeah, I mean, that felt fine. I wish I could have done two hours. I covered quite a fair distance there. I think I just did over 3K, which is super cool. But yeah, it's so weird, like, being 
swimming again. I don't know. I just find it really like strange. I don't. I don't know where it is. But yeah. So we're gonna shoot to the gym. I think from here where we are, it's around a 20 minute drive. I'm gonna try and blow dry my hair a bit as well when I get there, just so it's like not. It's not actually fair. It's not actually that wet. It is a little bit, but not like soaked. But yeah. Cool. We are at the gym post swim. So obviously the plan this morning was the pool and the gym were in the same place, but that wasn't the situation. We, we had to find that pool. God, God bless our souls this morning. But yeah, swim done. Now we've driven to Modified. So this is the usual gym that I train at and it's gonna be what I used to do. So they were never set workouts. It wasn't like legs, arms, that kind of thing. Like strength and conditioning for swimming was very specific. So I've got squats, split squats, dips, weighted pull-ups. And I think that's it. Oh, and then some like, just like jumps. So it's like power transfer for diving off the block. Different things for specific different things. So I just thought I would show you what I used to do in the gym. I beat the beat, I'm mistreated. 
I beat the eyes, delete it. On top, top, I'm on DM. No rock star with these letters. So we are done. That was 40 minutes gym work. I'm just, it's crazy what I used to do. Like, it, it's amazing, but it's also crazy. Like, so I would go back usually to the pool later and do another two hours swim and land work. And not every day, but like I said in the car this morning, like, it's nine sessions a week was a lot. And a lot of people say to me, like, like do you miss swimming? I don't miss the competitive side because there was a lot of issues of nutrition and food and my relationship about my body and the way I thought about myself near the end and I started to hate swimming. I hated going to competitions. I would put so much pressure on myself. So it's nice that you take a 360 and then I'm doing these videos for YouTube, which I would see never, ever, ever. If you told me that when I was swimming, you're gonna be filming a YouTube train like your old self. I'd be like, you're a joker. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. So that'll breath. Comment below what else you want me to film and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.